long time ago I played Rust. I'm now going to tell you a story about the time I played Rust. What's up everybody, it's Little Moist, and today I'm coming at you with a bit of a... Bit of a gamer story here, I guess. A lot of people have asked me to play Rust, I have actually played it in the past, but only one time. And because that one time was so fucking great, it just eclipsed any other kind of story or experience I've had in any other game, I've never wanted to go back to it and ruin my vision of the game or what my experience with it was. Now, if any of you are just warping out of the 12th century and don't know what Rust is, uh, Rust is kind of like a survival game. If you've played Ark Survival Evolved, it's like, if you took Ark minus the dinosaurs and added a lot of racism. That's what Rust basically- it's like the gaming equivalent of a boy's bathroom stall door graffiti. Or maybe the gaming equivalent of the deke house behind Mary's Laundromat Bar and Grill on the south side of Miami. You know, it's a bit of a rough game, it's not exactly family friendly. And when I say that I played Rust, I don't mean like the Weenie Hut Jr. YouTube house type shit where everyone's trying to run around with their wholesome Keanu Chungus YouTube-worthy moments raiding each other. It wasn't shit like that, this was the real Rust. The shit that everyone else plays their first time. Now my first time playing Rust started off like most people's, I assume I woke up naked, afraid, not really knowing how the game worked. And so I walked around with my bare penis dragging along the ground, trying to figure out where, in the exa where exactly I fit in this world, what the fuck I was supposed to do. And it wasn't too long I'd been wandering the hellscape that is Rust before I was picked up by some people. There were a couple of, I want to say, raider bandit type players just wa wandering around killing people, yelling explicit, you know, shit like that. And they found me and uh, immediately realized upon seeing me as a naked that didn't flee from them or try to attack them with a rock or a pipe gun made out of a fucking tree limb and some gunpowder. That was pretty new. So they walked up to me, they pretty much held me at gunpoint and told me they were going to capture me, which they did. They took me back to this really big facility, which the only way I could really describe what it looks like was a giant stone termite hill. It looked like a giant cyclops turd of a building, but I could hear shit going on inside. I walk up, it turns out it, they've got sort of like a labor camp going with a bunch of nakeds they've corralled together, and they're all being held at gunpoint, everyone's having to work. You have different tasks, like gathering resources, or doing this, that, and the other thing. Whatever they wanted you to do, you had to do it, or you got shot, of course. And I went along with it. I didn't really talk too much, but eventually I started to kind of talk to some of the guys that walked around with the guns, guarding everyone. And I kind of got a little bit friendly with them. And eventually got to the point where I was kind of hanging out with them, almost like one of their buddies. Almost. But one of them really did not like me. One guy knew something fishy was going on with me. And so he walked up to me and made the strangest fucking request I've ever had in a video game. He demanded that I start talking in African click speak. And I've never fucking heard any kind of African click speak. I don't know what the fuck he was talking I'm guessing the Ugandan Knuckles type thing that was popular back then. But the only thing that I could think of was the Robin Williams pygmy speak from Night at the Museum. So I look at the guy and start going like... Or some, some shit like that. And it fucking killed- it didn't kill him, he was completely unamused. A solemn, stone, granite-faced, unmoving man. The rest of them are fucking dying, laughing at me. But he was not amused, and I was really fucking fearful, but the rest of them talked him out of killing me. Luckily. And it went on like that for a pretty good while, I would occasionally have to amuse my captors, I had to work, but I, I had an easier life than most of the other people in the labor camp, because I was funny, I guess. And I got buddy buddy with these guys, and eventually one of them came up to me and was like, "Hey, he pretty much gave me the you know wink wink nudge nudge, don't come to school tomorrow type thing." And uh, he walked up to me and he's like, "Okay, they're playing on fucking killing everyone. They're kind of bored of this meme. Everyone's getting wiped away. You need to get the fuck out of here." So I'm like, "Okay, o okay, all right, I hear you." And so I went out like I normally did out to gather shit. I had a couple people following me. I fucking booked it. I gumped it straight through the fucking woods as far as I could. The only thing I could fucking hear was the wind whistling past my fucking ears, the guys yelling racial things at me, and fucking AK rounds whizzing past my head as I barreled through the tree line. I ran for a long ass time too. I'm really surprised I didn't get intercepted by another group, but I was fucking running bare ass snake. It was like a fucking, I don't know, Nat Geo movie or some shit from the 1800s. It was incredible. But I got away. I got away, made a small shelter in the ravine, put my character's ass there, parked him, and then never opened the game up ever again. And so that was it. That's pretty much my, my Rust story. Uh, 
I don't think I'll ever play the game again because I don't think anything I could ever do will top that shit. But it was really fucking, it was really cool. It was really cool playing the game. As much of a toxic experience as it was, it was super cool. From waking up in the game, being scared shitless, being indoctrinated into slave labor, warming up to my captors and escaping. It was fucking, it was awesome. It was really cool. Uh, so, yeah, that's pretty much my Rust story. I've told on stream a million times. I'm just kind of made this so everyone can just give everyone a link if they want the whole spiel, I guess. But yeah, that's it for this video. Peace.